Aloha and welcome to Life Journaling in Dash. We're your hosts, Yuvella and Pastor David. And today is the 4th of October, 2021. Today's readings are Esther 1 and 2 and Psalms 150 and Luke 17. Yuvella, how do we how do we start? We start with our protocol, so let's begin with prayer. Okay. Would you like me to pray? Yes, please. Lord, as always, help us. Lord, thank you for this opportunity to share by uh, via a podcast. We ask that you help us to speak words of life through your word that you have given us. We ask that you bless those who listen and help them and heal them that need to be healed. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Are you excited today? I'm excited because... We're going to see some people as we travel around. They're from our church online. Yeah, well, they're in our small group online. Yeah, and so our paths are crossing here in Moses Lake, Washington State. And we're actually, after we record this, we're going to actually get to see them as they drive by. So we're very excited. I'm excited because small groups mean so much because you get to share with a You get so close to people, to family. It's really exciting. Church is good because you're studying God. But small groups, I would say, is where there's growth because you get to really speak into each other's lives. And they can say, uh, Pastor David, you know, that's no, no, no. Did you really do that? <laughs> <laughs> and then Yuval was like, uh-huh, he did. But he repents. <laughs> they also encourage you and let you know that you're not alone in this walk with on with the Lord. Yeah. And besides, I don't make mistakes. I'm perfect. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> let's continue on. Um, let me go ahead and share. Actually, I'm going to share from two parts of today's reading. The first part is Luke 17, 15. One of them, when he saw he was healed came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. And then in Psalms 150, 1 through 3, it says, Praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty heavens, praise him for his acts of power, praise him for his surpassing greatness, and verse 6, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. My observation, in Luke 10, oh, sorry, in Luke 10, men were healed from leprosy, but only one came back to praise God for the healing. In Psalms, King David tells us that everyone should praise the Lord. My application, I want to be the one who remembers to praise God. I want to be the one who praises him for his greatness. Yes, bad things will happen. For example, today I closed the microwave door and hit my ear, my glasses, and my hearing aid. Ouch. I do not need to praise God for the pain, but I can praise Him for letting this happen so I can warn you, my husband, that the microwave door in the RV is wider than a normal microwave door. And I think my comment was, thanks for using your head. <laughs> But, I, but again, I repent. <laughs> Praising God in bad things means not looking at the situation, but looking at who Jesus is. My prayer, Lord, help me sing praises to you throughout the day. When things go awry, help me to give the situation to you and praise you for being in control. Amen. Yay. And I'll try not to use my head in painful <laughs> ways again. Amen. Today I wrote about Luke chapter 17, verse 6. Jesus replied to his disciples, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. My observation is from... What are you doing? <laughs> the microphone's not on. Yes. Okay. That go. is... There's no red light. Okay. We're recording this on our phone today. I didn't plug in the microphone for the external speaker thing because our producer said it was good. He liked the traffic sound. It sounded like we're camping. We are camping. Life is going on. <laughs> Can 
Can I continue? Yes. Because I have a limited time. One of the protocols is I allow you to speak. You spoke. <laughs> my turn. <laughs> so, my observation is Jesus is giving a warning to his disciples. <laughs> Sin. Avoid causing others to sin and keep on forgiving people if they say repent. I repent. The disciples say, increase our faith, Jesus. And he tells them, if you have even a slight bit of faith, it will be more than enough. My application, I call it distractions. <laughs> when life gets busy and I stop hearing or stop feeling close to God. This is what makes me forget my faith. What works for me is to go back to the basics, and I make sure I'm praying for myself and others. I make sure that I'm doing my life journaling. The last thing is to make sure that what I'm hearing or watching, that stuff on my electronics, it's that it's all uplifting to God, such as listening to Christian music. And then, you know, people should know that when we travel, we travel with Caleb because it's on our phone and we can hear it all over the world. My prayer is, Lord, help me to remember that even faith as little as a mustard seed will be enough. I was looking at you, <laughs> and I lost my place. I was distracted. So, Lord, help me to remember that even faith as little as a mustard seed will be enough. Help me to act with confidence, knowing you are with me, and to make choices that would make you proud. Amen, Pastor David. Okay, I just want to clarify. Distractions is not equivalent to Uvella. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Um, Adventure might be. <laughs> <laughs> so, the first week we hit the road, last Friday we baptized somebody. Today... It is, what day of the week? It's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. And we're having um, online Ohana come by for a visit. So we are being blessed. And I hope that we can encourage people that listen to the podcast, that watch the YouTube videos, and that um, we see in person can be um, encouraged with their walk and that their faith will increase as well. I think we also uh, help them learn that mistakes happen. Yeah. And sometimes for <laughs> some people, they happen quite a bit. I don't have words. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You kind of have to say, okay, whatever it is, Lord, I'm with you. And, and just go with it because things are going to happen. In fact, in, in Luke today, Jesus said people are going to stumble. It's going to happen. And that we need to forgive them when they repent. But that faith will be enough. Or forgive them when they say, oh, look, the microphone's not working. Yeah, but you did that in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't say anything until you asked me, what are you doing? I didn't interrupt. I was... <laughs> Yeah, but your face, it was like, what is she doing? I'm trying to talk here. And, um, yeah, it was in the middle of the podcast. But at least, if nothing else, people will know we're real, we're authentic, we love God, and we're on the road. Amen to that. Would you like to close us in prayer? Yes, I would. We could use a lot of prayer in this world that is... Um, stressful, where um, we can lose our way, especially if we forget um, about having the faith of a mustard seed being enough. So, Father God, we pray for the listeners, we pray for ourselves, and we pray for the church that we would walk with you, that we would have confidence that you're with us, that we wouldn't forget that even little faith, little things make a big difference in the world, and that we would be pleasing to us. Help us with our health, help us with our work, our travels, our family, especially members that um, uh, need to know that you're real, that you'd be with them. Pray for the sick, pray for those that need jobs that we've heard from, and uh, answer our prayers. All of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.